so previously I made a video regarding the battle pass and what we know so far about the battle pass today's video will just be looking at year 5 and what we know so far about year 5 season 1 or just year 5 in general so it was stated that the battle pass should be coming in the year 4 season 4 which we are currently in so I will not be regarding the battle pass in this video as that is coming in year 4 and not year 5 but today I just want to go through everything that we do know about year 5 and what is to come so the first thing we know is the loadouts for the new operators in year 5 so we have the G36C for the attacker we have the ARX200 for the attacker and we have the MK1 9mm for the attacker so as for the attacker it is yeah they are all use a reuse weapon because I do get a lot of comments regarding this but it does seem like that they are going to be using reuse weapons once again in year 5 season 1 I wonder how long it will go on for for them to use reuse weapon because they must run out of weapons at some point but yeah year 5 season 1 the attacker will have the G360 the IRX200 the MK1 9mm if you don't know what those weapons are what the first one is Ash's uh, primary weapon, Nomad's primary weapon and Buck's uh, secondary pistol. As of for the Defender, the Defender has the Spaz 12 that Valkyrie owns and the Bailiff secondary that Alibi and Maestro own and as of for the primary uh, they will have the MP5 that Doc and Rook have. So another defender that will own the MP5 now. I wonder if it will have an ACOG. Who knows it depends on what the defender is or what they do. But if they have an MP5 ACOG and then they must be a uh, one speed. If not and then they will probably probably have the ACOG removed. But those are the loadouts for the new operators within year 5. Next up we just have a couple of skins that should be coming in, in year 5 or anytime soon. So we have a buck legendary skin here and a jaeger uh, purple tier skin these don't really have anything to do with any any i don't even know anything to do with anything but these are just skins that have not been released yet on and are yet to come to the game next up we have a description that was found in one uh, bio it stated that uh, fuse wanted to um kind of copy carly i don't know if it was one mice description or carly's description but in one of the descriptions it stated that carly was testing the new gadget and because you know carly's gadget it pierces through the reinforced wall she said that fuse was kind of getting jealous and fuse was looking to do the same so that could potentially mean that there could be a fuse rework coming anytime soon not anytime soon but in the future i guess because we're still waiting for the chachanka rework and all that which could be coming in year five also but fuse might be able to go through reinforced walls with his gadget that is a potential thing that could come in year five next up we have the operator names or the code names who have recall and quarterback these are the code names for the new operators so these probably won't be the final names for them but these are just the names they have in the files for the time being whilst they think of a name but the code name probably is placed there for something they sim like could do like you wouldn't just randomly call them that right so recall must be something to do with his character her character quarterback something to do with i don't know quarterback so these are just code names let me know what do you think their like gadget could be about based on their names but obviously we do have the leak which i will show on screen right now regarding their gadgets so the one of them are hinted at of being a kool-aid man which you know the kool-aid man like burst through walls i guess and we speculated that the gadget would be that they can run through soft walls but i don't think that they would make that into a um character just because like you do have operators like sledge and buck and it would just be a bad operator overall like, what are you gonna get from being able to run through soft walls and i don't think ubisoft would really do that and that would just be like another bad operator because we haven't really got that many good operators in the past couple seasons we do also they also stated that their good was going to be a medic drone operator a akimbo dude that might be in the works but there are lots of stuff that have been shelved over the years over engine issues so the next operators could be something to do with the kool-aid man running through soft balls and a medic drone operator as of for like just new stuff in general an alarm gadget for defenders could be coming to the game soon obviously we did have the loadout and it is going to be added to dock it was also stated that there should be a small thermite charge for attackers this is secondary gadget but that has not been found in the files yet so i don't think that would come alongside the alarm gadget but who knows they might surprise us 
The Chachanko rework should be coming soon. He'll no longer need his turret. So we did also make a video on that and we speculated that he won't have the turret anymore and the LMG will be his primary weapon, similar to how Maestro is currently. And then his new gadget is a big deployable shield. Thinker is looked at being turned into a proper medic down the line. That's another thing coming into the game. So we have a Chachanka and Thinker rework. We've got half reinforcements which are being looked at. As of for elite skins, the Cav Elite will be next and then I believe it will be Buck. They do state here that it will be Cav Elite and then it's Buck. They are also looking at to fix client side debris. So that is another good thing that they are going to implement into the game. It's not really much but that is everything we know about the year five so far so we know their loadouts we know their operator names or operator code names we know what their gadget is going to be what we can speculate the gadget's going to be and we do have information on what is to come we got high reinforcements are being looked at uh, we got a proximity alarm for defenders a small thermite charge for attackers we got a uh, cavalry and buck elite and much much more which I've already stated, but that is everything we know so far on year five. So if you enjoyed today's video, let me know what are you most excited for the year five? Is it the maps? Is it the operators? What is it? The secondary gadgets? Is it the Chachanka rework, Pinker rework? Let me know what are you most excited to see come to Rainbow Six Siege? That is pretty much everything. I hope you all have a wonderful day and goodbye.